Hi! In this video, I want to show you how to spin yarn on a bottom whorl spindle. Let's take a look at our spindle. A bottom whorl spindle has the hook on one end and the whorl on the other. And a bottom whorl spindle requires a leader in order to spin. So let me show you how you set that up. A leader is just any piece of scrap yarn. And you set it up first by tying one end to the spindle right above the whorl. Wrap it around a couple of times, then wrap it once under the whorl, come back up and hook it onto your hook. For the far end you want to tie a knot as if you were going to tie a yo-yo onto your finger. Pretty simple. That's all you need to set up your spindle. Let's take a look at how we get the spindle spinning. With the bottom whorl, you simply grasp it in your fingers and twist it. It's important that you always twist in a consistent direction. If you twist one way and then the other, the twist will cancel and the final yarn will fall apart. So you just twist it. Now the next thing we need to take a look at is the fiber. You're going to want to pull off a strip. Not too much. This actually is a little bit on the thick side, so I'm going to split it in half again. And now you're going to pre-draft it. To pre-draft it, what you're really doing is you're going to grasp it and pull it apart a little bit. You want to do this for two reasons. One, you want to separate the fibers, get them moving against each other, loosen them up so that it'll be very easy to draft. And two, so that you'll have it almost to the point where you need it to be when you're spinning it. You want your single to be approximately half of what you want your final yarn to be, and you want your roving before you start spinning to be just a little bit thicker than that. So we're just going to pull on this, separate the fibers, and get this ready to spin. This is called, by the way, a pull. When you have one section ready that you're getting ready to spin, it's called a pull. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to distaff it, and that just means wrap it around your wrist. It keeps it out of the way while you're spinning, and you can just unwrap one coil at a time as you need the fiber. So, to attach the yarn. To the spindle, what you do is you take the end, you feed it through the loop, and you fold it in half. But this isn't going to hold together well, of course. It's just going to come right back out again. So you want to twist the two ends together, two sides of the fold together, so to make it hold. The way you do that is you just turn your spindle, you want the twist run up into there. When you first learn to spin, you're going to want to use the park and draft method. And the way you do that is you twist the spindle, just hold it. Don't do anything yet. And when it's built up a good amount to twist, catch it, park it. And now we're going to draft out. It's very important to control when the twist enters the fiber supply. Right now there's no twist here. You're going to pinch it to control the twist. You're going to pull out with your other hand to draft out some roving. You're going to allow the twist to enter. Again, pinch, pull out. You're pinching out with this hand. Allow the twist to enter. Pinch, pull out, 
allow the twist to enter. And you can keep doing that in order to my hair in order to learn how to spin. Now once you're comfortable with that, the next step is to simply twist and draft at the same time. So you're just gonna pinch, pull, pinch, release. Pinch, pull, pinch, release. And whenever the, the spindle starts to slow down, you just spin it again. Pinch, pull, pinch, release. When you have enough to wind on, you're going to wrap it around your hand first. You're going to then take the loop off of the hook. You're going to unwrap the one wrap that was around the bottom. You're going to wrap around the top again. And then you're going to wrap once around the bottom, come back up to the hook, secure with a half hitch, and you're ready to start spinning again. I'm going to show you how to, draw, how to ply this in a later video.